Hi, today I'm going to make a tutorial on a program called Iobit Uninstaller. And with this program, I'm going to show you how to uninstall a program and afterwards scan the Windows registry for and hard drive for leftovers. Because sometimes there's a program you want to uninstall and you go to the uh, default Windows uninstaller, which you find in the control panel. But sometimes you cannot find it the program you want to un uninstall or sometimes it doesn't want to be uninstalled so to make sure that you, that the program is uninstalled correctly we I'm going to show you how to use iobit uninstaller and I can show you a couple of stuff that it does also I mentioned the Windows register before and if you don't know what that is it is a database that contains all settings for system and software. The re Windows register, you, you can compare it to human DNA and like DNA. It contains all information, for example, for the programs, user preferences, and operating system configurations. It is very important because this it, it contains all the small bits of information. And because it's like a database, it, it can get filled up and it can slow down your computer eventually. Therefore, you should always delete the files you do not need there. And, for example, if you're using an email client, some of these files are going to contain your personal information. So if you uninstall your email client and then install it again afterwards and you see it's going to ask you to set up the same account you had prior to you uninstalling it, and you're a little surprised, how does it know it? Well, that's all because of these files. So, to make sure you're safe, I'm going to show you how to use this program. The first step is, obviously, to get the program. You can go to the website, iobit.com, find it, download it, and I have already downloaded it. After installing it, you should proceed to opening it I have already opened I have it opened it here let's maximize the screen so here as you can see this is all programs you can see all your programs you can sort them by the install date the size next we as you can see we have lots of tabs so, here's the first tab, toolbar. These, this just means toolbars, for example, those you have on your web browser. Then we have the recently installed. You'll see this is not a long list. It just has the couple of them that I've installed this month. Here you have only large programs. So if you really want to clean up your hard disk, you would use this ta tab. Rarely use. I have none here because I use a lot of my programs. I don't install unnecessary stuff, but for people who do, and maybe they haven't touched their program for a year, it would pop up here. Windows Update, um, I wouldn't mess around with that unless you really know what you're doing. And... Let's leave it at that. So now I'm going to show you how to uninstall a program. So, here's Skype. It's simple. I just click uninstall. Now, one thing I really want to, I should tell you is you can create a restore point before uninstalling. So, if you uninstall it and something happens, you can always go back to this point. Now, first we're going to use the normal uninstaller. The same uninstaller you would see if you w went to the uh, control panel and used the uninstaller from there. I'm just going to click yes. Give it a minute.
Skype is quite a big file, and um, it has some information that you put in there. Good. And this is... No, I don't care about you, Skype. Where are we? Here. This is the important part. Powerful scan. As we talked about the registry before and the hard drive, I'm going to click powerful scan. Now, iobit uninstaller is going to find this. Now, I'm using iobit uninstaller version 2.1. And I don't know which version you would have, but I like this version, and I'm not upgrading it. So, as you can see here, these are all the the registry files that belong to Skype. 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 And then some programs you would probably not have known yourself. Now, um, I'm going to delete all of them. Because I don't want anything to do with Skype anymore. Because, yeah, I'm not going to need it in the future. If I do, I'll just have to set it up again. Delete. That's it. Really, there's nothing more to it. You're Skype clean now. There should be no Skype. Or anything related to it, except for Skype setup, maybe. And uh, now I can just talk about one last thing, and that is the forced uninstall. So, this was what I was talking about before. Sometimes a program doesn't want to uninstall. You can't. It's not in the control panel. You can't find it. Now, uh, I don't have a specific example to give you guys right now. So I'm just going to pick some random program I can find. Let's say... Ah. Say I don't want fraps anymore. Then I go next. And then it's going to search for its um, uninstaller. And it has found its uninstaller. Now I go uninstall. It's closed, and we can do the powerful scan one more time. Oh, and also notice I've been using advanced. Here, this is a perfect example to show you. These are all frap. Yeah, these are pictures from frap that I've taken as screenshots. And um, a movie I recorded with Fraps, and um, I have to decide: Do I want to keep those? I'm definitely going to go for the registry. If I just want to select everything, I can click here. If I don't, I can just click rest. I'm going to delete everything. I do not have anything here that I see important, and I go delete. Are you sure? Click yes. Delete. Now I'm fraps clean, and this is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Bye.